I'm going to show you how to dump and flash the firmware of AS Media USB drive adapters. It's always good to be on the latest firmware as this can resolve some problems with trim functionality on some of the adapters. Also, if you do have a later firmware than what's available on the internet, this is always good to share with the community. Okay, so first download the tools in the description of this video. I believe the dumper originates from usbdev.ru, so should be thanks to them. So extract the tools and we'll first dump the original firmware. So just make sure that the AS Media Adapter is plugged in. And if you go into the ASM FW Reader folder, then if you hold shift and right click, then you can click into the power terminal or the command prompt of this directory. Now if you run the program and then if you specify a number at the end, which is the device number of the adapter, I didn't know what the number was, so I just start from one and then just count up. Mine actually was one, but I started from five just to show you that you just need to try all the numbers. Okay, when you hit the right one, it should hopefully dump the firmware now. Just be aware, never flash the original dumped file as this can brick your device. A process has to be done first and I'll show you later in this video. Now we can see the firmware version. We can see if there is a newer firmware available. If you open a browser and then go to station-drivers.com and if you search for the firmware version in here, it should come up with the chipset that's associated with the adapter. You can see my example is ASM2235 and for me there does seem to be a newer version available so I'll, I'll just show you how to flash this newer version. So if you just download and extract the new firmware from Station Drivers. Now back to File Explorer, if you just access the MP Tools folder and just run the MP Tool program. Now when this starts you should see the adapters already detected. So click the unlock button at the top and type the password in which is AS Media, so lowercase. Now click the browser button and then if you just find that newer firmware that you downloaded and extracted. Now just click start and the firmware should flash. Now if you want to correct the dumped firmware that you did earlier, we just need to make this compatible with MP Tool. We need a hex editor to make this dumped firmware compatible, so if you go into Google and search for HXD editor, install this and then open the dumped firmware that you did earlier. We need to delete the first 130 bytes, so in hex this is 82 in length, as shown below. So once highlighted, just right click and then click delete. So now we just need to trim the end of the file. So if you scroll down the file until you can see the empty FF bytes, if you highlight these and then if you hold down control, shift and end, this should move down to the end of the file with them all highlighted. So now just right click and then click on delete and this should trim the end of the file. So now if you do save as and then just name it as the firmware version without the ASM FW prefix. So now the changes have been made, we should be able to flash it in MP tool. So now I'll just warn you just to flash this at your own risk. I would recommend that you try first flashing one that you've already downloaded, dump it back and then hex edit it. And then if you compare the two files and make sure that they match byte for byte, just to be sure. That's it, thanks.